Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. This full review of Xiaomi Mi TV 4E. We already have video with unboxing and tutorial how to change to English. You can find them by the link in description. The series of budget TV from Xiaomi was released about half a year ago. It's one of the cheapest and most interesting devices on the market. Xiaomi Mi TV 4E is available with 43, 49 and 55 inch screens. They differ from each other with diagonal and specifications. In the description you can find full specification list of each models. We receive 43-inch model of Xiaomi Mi TV 4A. Now its price is about $400 using coupon. The link to the store and coupon is in description too. So let's start our review with design. First of all, I should say about size of Xiaomi Mi TV 4A. My model with 43-inch display has 965 by 570 by 74 mm. If we talk about weight, the device is not very heavy, only 8 kg. The most of body is made of aluminum, only the bottom, back, bezel surround the screen and feet are made of plastic. You can mount TV on the wall using special bracket, but I think the stand is also a good option. The design is minimal and attractive. It can fit in for any interior, modern, classic and others. The only available colors is black. The bezels around the screen are about 1 cm. They are very thin and do not attract attention. As for the control button, Xiaomi Mi TV 4A has only one power button. There is no volume rocker, channel and others. You can control TV via remote control or smartphone with ear blaster. All connection and ports are located on the rear panel. Here you can find Ethernet, two HDMI ports, one of them support iOS, two USB 2.0, antenna ports, composite input, and SPDIF. HDMI interface of the second version allows to both cut content in resolution 3840x2160 at 60 FPS. Among wireless interface, there is dual band Wi Fi 802.11 AS and Bluetooth 4.2. The remote control is connected to TV via Bluetooth. Also, you can use your wireless headphones to listen to music or watch movies. I really like to play PlayStation and use my AirPods. As you know, PlayStation doesn't allow to connect AirPods directly to it. However, if you use Xiaomi Mi TV 4A, the AirPods is connected to TV, not gaming console. So the sound works great. So, let's turn on TV and talk about specification of Xiaomi Mi TV 4E 43 inches. As I already said, I have 33 inch version of TV. The display has resolution of Full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels. I should say that 55 inch version has resolution of 4K. The view angle is 170 degrees. Contrast ratio is 3000 to 1. The responsive time is 6 milliseconds. As for the hardware, Xiaomi Mi TV 4A 43 inches is powered by M-Logic T962 chipset, with including four Cortex-A53 cores operating at frequencies 1.5 GHz and Mali 450 graphic accelerator. Also there is 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB eMMC 5.1 memory. This is a bare fact from the official website, but let's see the actual TV performance. First of all, I want to launch in Tutu, it's one of the most popular benchmarks on smartphones. As you know, Xiaomi Mi TV 4A runs on Android, so you can use any Android apps, including on Tutu. Here we have about 32,464 points. As for the HIG Bench 4, Xiaomi Mi TV 4A scores 601 in single core test and 6044 in multi core test. This is a regular performance for budget smartphone. 
However, a smartphone TV doesn't need so much performance to watch movies and series. Of course, you can run some simple games, but heavy ones may have uncomfortable FPS. If we talk about interface, they are very fast and smooth, the application runs quite quickly. Xiaomi Mi TV 4A runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with MIUI TV on top. There is no official English, but you can change it yourself. You can watch video in description how to do it. Anyway, the launcher by default will be in Chinese. At the moment, it's impossible to install other launcher. You can change to English on the settings menu and some options. Also, this TV doesn't have Google Play Store or other Google services. You can install application via Chinese App Store or using APK files. I use the second method. It means that you can download APK files of popular Android application on your computer, transfer them to USB drive, then connect it to TV and install application. Also, you can download APK files on TV via web browser and no need to use your computer. The user interface of Xiaomi Mi TV 4A looks like other Chinese smart TVs. The main screen scrolls horizontally, and there is different content from left to right sorted by tabs. You can see here Chinese services, apps, and even Xiaomi smartphones. I don't really like it, but this cannot be removed for now. Maybe later there is English MIUI TV, or you will have an option to use other launcher. All functions of TV are controlled from the remote control or from a smartphone with special app. The interface is very fast and smooth. Switches between different tabs and apps doesn't have any delays. Xiaomi Mi TV 4A supports analog signal from antenna or cable TV, but there is no support for digital TV. It means that device is designed for APTV or streaming services. Also, you can watch movies from internal memory or external storage devices. TV supports most popular video codecs such as H.264 and H.265. There is not support for 3D, but it has HDR10. I can say that image quality is amazing. Xiaomi Mi TV 4A hasn't the highest resolution, but the diagonal is not so biggest, so the image is excellent. Of course, Xiaomi Mi TV 4A is equipped with sound system, which including two speakers by 6 watt and support W virtual surround sound, bass boost, and DTS. Recall that it's budget TV, $400. So the sound is just good, but no more. If you want a quality sound with bass, then you can buy a set of soundbars and subwoofer. It will be provide you with unforgettable sound. Nevertheless, I think that building speakers are enough to watch movies and TV shows. So I like my 43-inch version of Xiaomi Mi TV 4A. It's good TV for my home, it's great display, simple but attractive design, Android system and good performance. You can install any Android apps like YouTube, Netflix and even games such as Asphalt 8. However, it has one disadvantage – Chinese launcher from Xiaomi. It's a pity, but you cannot change the language of home screen, delete pre-install app and services or install other launcher. Perhaps later the interface will be translated into English, or it will be possible to change the launcher, but at the moment it will be hard to use this one. However, it's only one drawback for high-quality TV with price of only $400. It's definitely a great deal. Thanks for watching. In description you can find link where to buy this TV cheaper. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.